guys, Martin speaking, and this is um, my first video in the Spooky Tober Fest after my introduction. Um, so I'm going to show you the demon prints in a minute. In front of you, um, this is a sweet tub upturned. Um, underneath that is my Nurgle Knight Titan base. I've taken the plunge, um, gone ahead and done it. Uh, it's either going to really work or really fail. Either way, you'll see it Wednesday stroke Thursday that video will go up. Um, it's going to need a few days for, for what I'm doing with it. Um, a lot of you have already guessed it, so that's absolutely fine. Let's see where it goes from there. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's just show you um, in this video. Because it's spooky to with us, so let's be spooky about things. Let's tilt that camera down. Lift this up without knocking the model. I've got to keep the dust off it while it all sets. So. And there is a whole load of swamp water. I'll turn it round, it's I've only just poured it about half an hour ago. But it's still quite fluid at the moment. But there it is. There's a whole lot of swamp effect. I've still got to do all ripples and everything around it after I've finished, but for now, that's where we're up to. So let's cover that back up. And keep the dust off it. It takes 72 hours to to dry that water effect. So um, let's push that out of the way. And then let's throw the camera down this way. More importantly, let's get to this guy. So I've been working on my Nagel Demon Prince as I said I would. I've made him an eye. Took his horns off. Put the horn off the great unclean one on. I've got an arm and I found I had arms off, um, arms and legs etc off, I've got the Forge World Bile Trolls, um, um, so I've used the arm of one of them because I'm not going to use the arm, and I've obviously green stuffed in just to, to make it all fit. I've only got one set of wings on at the moment, because once all this green stuff's dry I'm going to put the second set of wings on. I've put the leg on um, for, for the Mournfang, uh, Mongo. And I've pinned ready the foot. So that will sit in there. And I'm not gonna get the right effect on the camera, but basically that'll make that'll give him his height off the ground. Um, now what I did figure out was that's not gonna be enough. That thin leg won't be enough to support the weight of this model, so I need to do something from the other side. Still got to repose the tail, um, which once all this green stuff set off I can heat this up and I can repose it. And also, whilst I was looking at me bile trolls, I um I took two arms and put them together and got the green stuff in there. Um I just noticed I've missed that so I need to green stuff in there but but basically yeah I've um I've brought in Another leg, so it's still got the back repose. It's a bit more further back than that, and it's a completely different design to it. It's it's got a bigger, different talon and everything to it. But I figure it's a mutated Nagel demon print, so of course it would have that. Um, but anyway, back to what I was saying was I've got this arm that I'm going to put on here. Again, it's a bile troll arm. Um, the bile trolls are being used as mutilators, so um, obliterators even. So they're not going to have their arms; they're going to have guns. I had all the arm spare. I need when I, when I put the, the horse on the ground with this, I need to, to to lift the whole thing up off the floor and say that's just not going to be strong enough. So what I'm looking for, and if anyone can help me out with one, I've put a message on Facebook. But if any of my subscribers or anybody who's watching can help me out, I want the wrecking ball off the plague furnace this gave him plague furnace or, or screaming bell whichever way around you call it if you've made the screaming bell the plague plague furnace which is the big ball with the, the trail of smoke coming from behind it will be left spare so i'm going to have that as in effect a black mace i'm going to make a, a a baton for him um a staff sorry for his hand and then once the arm then comes down from there i can have the black mace as if it's Literally just being dragged along the ground and he's because he's only taken off flight. The trail of smoke won't be smoke, it'll be I'll turn it to mud so that it looks like it's lifting mud and that would give the support to lift the whole model up off the ground. Um but that's what I want to do, go out. 
Um, but yeah, that's where he's up to anyway, guys. So I'm going to have a second set of wings. Let's see if I've got one here to show you how that's going to rock. Um, so I'm just going to have another another wing. Yeah, that way. Um, so that'll set in and give him two wings, just make him look more nagly. I'm actually really, really impressed um, with, with how this has turned out. The eye looks fantastic. It's all blended in nicely. And um, I think he's going to look really good when he's done. Um, that's it, guys. So that's the video. Um, we've had a bit of a, a sneak peek, which I didn't intend to do. Um, hey, well, that's what happens when you start recording um, at the Nagel base. And then that, so if anybody can help out with one of those Plague Furnace um, ball and chains, then um, please let me know. Um, and I shall see you in the next day or two um, with the Nagel Knight base. Um, plus, th there should be quite a lot of videos go out this week and next. Cheers, guys. Oh, um, final note. If anybody's going to Warhammer Fest this Sunday, um, drop me a comment and let me know. Um, and if... If time arranges and everything like that, then it'd be good to, to meet some of you, um, shake your hand and all that sort of business. Um, but yeah, I'll be there all day Sunday, so if you bump into anyone, then just come and say hello to me. See you later, guys.